Well, good morning, everyone. This is the last devotion I'm going to put up before Christmas. I'm going to take a couple days off with the family and then resume on Monday after Christmas. But uh, Isaiah 61, I wanted to take you to a couple of places that were directly related to Christmas. And then at the end of this uh, time in God's word, I want to give you a couple of passages that you can use over the next couple of days so that you have some fresh passages uh, that will encourage you and your family as you prepare to worship the Savior this Christmas. But Isaiah 61 will get us started. Listen to these great words that, that uh, God prophetically gave to us about his, uh, his son. And look at verse number one, it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty uh, to the captives, and to and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that he might be called the trees of that we might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. And he's talking about that day when Christ shall come and, and bring uh, salvation to all. And that is what we celebrate at Christmas. We don't celebrate just a baby being born, although that is great news. What we're really celebrating is that God has come down to man and he has set in motion salvation for all who believe. Christmas isn't a time of just lights and bows and exchanging of gifts. It's a time where we remember the great gift that God has given to us. And so I want to encourage you. Maybe you've been far away. Maybe you've been just so so busy that you haven't had time for the Lord. And and maybe finally uh, it's it's coming clear, becoming clear to you that you have systematically prioritized God right out of your life. Well, right now, make it a point to to make Christmas about Him, and then to make your life about Him, because I think that a lot of people are living their lives with a little bit of Jesus sprinkled on it. And, and that is just no way to live. And so I want to encourage you, reset your life on the Lord. Use this big moment that we all pause and remember Jesus. Use this moment as your moment to be reminded that he is the purpose for your existence, not whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish with your life. And so this Christmas, celebrate the beautiful gift of Jesus. Listen, I know that'll help you today, but here's a couple of verses that you can use. Like maybe tomorrow you might go to Isaiah 60, verses 1 and 2, and, and just take a look there at what Isaiah the prophet was inspired to write. And then on Christmas Day, of course, Luke 2, 1 through 7 are the key verses that we go to to remind us of what we're celebrating that morning. But I think it's important that we remember that James 1, 17 talks about good and perfect gifts coming from above. And then John three sixteen is the identification of the perfect gift. And so this Christmas, let it be about Jesus. I'm sending you off for the next couple of days on your own without the morning devotions, but I've given you some passages. Isaiah 60, 1 and 2 for tomorrow. Luke 2, 1 through 7, James 1, 17, and John 3, 16 for Christmas morning. Let me just say this, Merry Christmas to you. And if you are out traveling and not gonna see these devotions, let me also say Happy New Year. Have a great day.